I'm Councilwoman Yasemin Ansari. I represent Phoenix City Council District 7. Um, and on behalf of the City of Phoenix and the Salvation Army, I would love to welcome you this morning. Thank you so much for being here to celebrate the partnership of the Arizona State Lottery and regional heat relief efforts. As you will witness in a moment, the lottery is providing $50,000 in a gives back sponsorship to the Maricopa Association of Governments Heat Relief Network for the purchase of bottled water to prevent heat related deaths. As you'll see in this warehouse, there are tens of thousands of bottles of water stored for use by the City of Phoenix and the Salvation Army for distribution at hydration and cooling centers around our community and by the incredible outreach teams who work hand in hand with our most vulnerable populations. I've personally walked and delivered water to our unsheltered neighbors around the Human Services Campus, which is in my district. And in one hour, I was drenched, lightheaded, and finished two bottles of water just to be able to keep walking around in the extreme heat. It motivated me to do more, to bring more relief to our residents, which is why on July 7th, we just rolled out a cooling bus right outside the Human Services Campus in the zone, and over 1,500 people have used this cooling bus so far, which also offers cold water. I know it's hard to imagine that the need is this great, but it really, really is. That's why the City of Phoenix was so honored to be selected by MAG as one of five recipients to receive $10,000 each from this lottery sponsorship. The city alone serves over 30 providers, and this year alone we've distributed nearly 200,000 200, bottles of water, which is equivalent to 34 pallets. So undoubtedly this grant will go a long way to serve our community. At the conclusion of this conference, we'll roll up the doors and begin offloading some of this water that, made, that is made possible uh, by this generous sponsorship. I hope that you will be inspired to do more when you see this effort. But you don't need to hear about the need from me, um, so I'm very honored to introduce our next speaker. Trevor Southwick is a peer support specialist and an incredible man who himself has a lived experience with homelessness. So with that, I'll turn it over to Trevor. Thank you. Thank you um, my name is Trevor Southwick, and um, like the councilwoman uh, explained, I have a personal experience with um, homelessness. Um, I want to start by giving a shout out. Uh, MAG helps facilitate a lived experience advisory council, and it is because of my involvement in that work that I'm able to be here today to speak. So uh, it's very important work. Um, I also want to start by saying that I'm not always a perfect example of, um, or a perfect prime candidate because my homelessness experience was in an outlying community which really lacked access to a lot of these resources. So rather than sharing about, the ben about how I benefited from these resources, I can really speak on what it was like not having that access. So um, specifically, I can think about one day, it must have been in the middle of the summer, um, and I was sitting at a park, and I remember feeling like it was very difficult to breathe because it was so hot outside, and there was no outreach teams, and there was nobody giving out water that day. I was alone in the park, and, and I, the only access to water I truly had was a, fortunately a drinking fountain there. Um, so it, it, I really want to you know, stress how important this resource is, being able to give out water to individuals who are really needing it. We see heat related deaths every summer uh, here in Arizona, so it's very, very important. And I want to thank uh, the Arizona Lottery for their donation and, and really thank all of the homeless service providers who are able to give out this water. Um, it really means the world. Um, and so I just want to thank everybody who, for being here and thank, thank um, everyone for inv inviting me to this event. Um, and I'm going to be introducing City of Mayor uh, John Giles, and, who is also the chair of MAG's Regional Council. Thank you, Trevor. That was uh, a very important message for all of us. Uh, as we've just heard from Councilwoman Ansari and so poignant, poignantly from Trevor, this work is vitally important. The statistics tell a grim story. According to the Maricopa County Public Health Department, more than 300 people lost their lives due, due to the heat last year. 
continuing an upward, an alarming trend, upward trend, trend in our region. Already there have been 16 confirmed heat-related deaths this year, with 138 additional deaths under investigation. Simply put, lives are at stake. The $50,000 provided by the, by the lottery will enable five deserving agencies to purchase $10,000 to, to purchase $10,000 in bottled water for heat-related efforts. The agencies selected for the funding through a competitive process include Community Bridges, the Salvation Army, the City of Phoenix, the City of Tolleson, and the Phoenix Rescue Mission. Let me tell you a little bit about the collaboration behind the Maricopa County Association of Governments Heat Relief Network. This network is a community effort that brings together the Maricopa Regional Continuum, Continuum of Care, cities and towns, nonprofit agencies, faith-based groups, native nations, businesses, and individuals to provide resources to those who are vulnerable. The Heat Relief Network provides relief by offering cooling centers, hydration stations, and bottled water to those suffering in the extreme temperatures. Heat relief locations can be found on MAG's interactive map available online at the Heat Relief Network at azmag.gov. This sponsorship comes at a crucial time. Coronavirus restrictions and a record number of days in the triple digits took a toll on relief efforts last year. There were 323 heat associated deaths in 2020, a 62.3 percent increase over 2019 and 15 times the amount of deaths in 2001. In 2020, there were only 64 heat relief stations across the region offering water and refuge compared to 142 locations the previous year. Water donations were <clears throat> also were down with only 42 collection sites available compared to 90 in 2019. Without heat relief, people's lives are at stake. Challenges continue with extreme heat this year. The average temperature for June of 2021 was the warmest on record. The average temperature all month was 95.3 degrees. Phoenix topped out at 118 degrees on June the 17th, matching the hottest temperature recorded in all of 2020. Those most at risk include older adults and people experiencing homelessness. Our most recent point in time count recorded more than 7,000 people with no place to call home. As the eviction moratorium nears an end and even more people may lose their homes, in our metropolitan area, 13.7% of residents are below the poverty level. Median rent prices have increased 36%, while median household incomes have risen only 11%. These numbers represent individuals at risk of losing housing. They represent families. They represent real adults and real children who need our help. For these reasons, we are especially grateful to the Arizona Lottery for giving back to our region through this generous sponsorship. I would now like to turn the mic over to Arizona State Lottery Executive Director, Greg Edgar, who will explain more about how playing the Arizona Lottery now means supporting efforts to save lives in the deadly Arizona heat. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Councilman, uh, Councilwoman Ansari, Mayor Giles, thanks so much for being here for us today and being a part of this presentation. Uh, we're excited to be able to stand here at the Salvation Army uh, in front of all these bottles of water, knowing that about 300,000 bottles will be bought with the $50,000 donation that we are giving today. I think when we listen to what Trevor just spoke about on his personal story, you really can't understand the value of a bottle of water until you don't have it. And so the opportunity for us to have that kind of impact in our community is something that's just fantastic for Arizona Lottery, and it's really what we were built on. This comes out of our Gives Back sponsorships where you know, Lottery was built on the premises of being able to generate revenue in public service. This year we'll return over $270 million back to the community through important programs like Maricopa Association of Governments Heat Relief Network. This opportunity is something where we can have impact on people who are the most vulnerable in our community, people who suffered the most through the pandemic, folks living without shelter, folks living without knowing where that bottle of water is coming from next. And so I like to take this opportunity uh, and be honored to stand in front of you on behalf of our players, on behalf of our retail network, and on behalf of Arizona Lottery's employees to be able to make this donation and have this kind of impact. 
think it's important in these time frames for all of us to stand up and think about what we can do in our community. As we head into the dog days of summer with record temperatures and a little bit of humidity, I know, which we're not used to in, in Arizona these days, um, there's a lot of folks that are in need out in our community. A lot of folks uh, that through the pandemic, maybe the resources haven't been given to them. I know at Arizona Lottery, the requests, the conversations that we're having with the nonprofit community, uh, the needs are greater than ever. And so it's incumbent upon all of us to step up and support and be a part of giving back and supporting our community. And so we're excited to be here today to partner with MAG, to partner with City of Phoenix, to partner with Salvation of our uh, Army to make this donation possible. And just excited to be able to be a part of this giving opportunity and have impact in our community. So Mr. Mayor, maybe we can do the check here. Councilwoman, you wanna step in? Be great too. So on behalf of Arizona Lottery, we're excited to give $50,000 in support of MAG's Heat Relief Network. Uh, with this 300,000 bottles of water going out to our community. So thank you all.